This presentation on what a child safeguarding statement is, is the first in a series of short videos to help you understand organizational responsibilities under the Children First Act 2015. It is produced by TUSLA's Child Safeguarding Statement Compliance Unit and is for information purposes only. In 2015, the Government of Ireland passed the Children First Act to help keep children in Ireland safe from harm. One of the ways this act aims to help protect children is by making it a legal requirement for groups or organizations which run activities for children to do all they can to keep children safe while they are with them. Every organization where more than one person works with children in a voluntary or paid capacity is required by law to develop a child safeguarding statement. Under the Children First Act 2015, these organizations are called relevant services, and the person in charge is called the provider of a relevant service. A list of the types of services that have to write a child safeguarding statement can be found in Schedule 1 of the Children First Act 2015. TUSLA has developed a sample template child safeguarding statement which is available on our website. TUSLA has also worked with a number of sectors and large organizations to develop template child safeguarding statements tailored to their specific needs. A child safeguarding statement is made up of a few different sections, all of which are required by the Children First Act 2015. Your child safeguarding statement must include the name and address of your service or organization and a short description of your service, what you do and the principles you will follow in order to keep children safe while they are with you. A risk assessment. The Children First Act 2015 requires all providers of relevant services to identify how children could be harmed while they are with them and to think of ways to reduce the risk to children of being harmed. This means writing up a list of the risks and listing procedures you have in place to try and protect children from those risks. A list of procedures. As well as the procedures you include in your risk assessment, the Children First Act also lists six procedures that must be listed in your child safeguarding statement. These are a procedure for responding to any allegations of child abuse against someone who works or volunteers in your service, a procedure to make sure people who work or volunteer in your organization are suitable to work with children, a procedure for making sure workers and volunteers have information and training on what child abuse is and how they might recognize it. A procedure that says how any child protection or welfare concerns will be reported to TUSLA. A procedure that explains how you will keep a record of who in your organization is a mandated person. And a procedure to appoint someone to be a first point of contact for your child safeguarding statement. This person is called a relevant person. Your child safeguarding statement must be reviewed within 24 months from when it was written, or sooner if something happens, and then again every 24 months after that. Your statement should include the date it was written or is due for review. It also has to give the name of the person in charge of the organization, the provider, and include the name and contact details of who to contact if there are any questions about the child safeguarding statement. Once you have written a child safeguarding statement, a copy has to be given to each worker or volunteer. Also, you have to give a copy to anyone else who asks, parents, children, members of the public, or TUSLA. The child safeguarding statement must be displayed somewhere public where it can easily be seen. TUSLA has published a guide to writing a child safeguarding statement, which can be found on our website. If you have questions or concerns about child safeguarding statements, you can contact the Child Safeguarding Statement Compliance Unit. Here are our contact details. You can also find them on the TUSLA website, www.tusla.ie. We hope you've enjoyed this presentation. Thank you for watching.